Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here rearranging some of my Christmas fabric. So I am reorganizing them. I'm wrapping them. When I originally had my fabrics on my shelf, they were not folded in any particular manner. So now I am actually in the process of doing that with all of my fabric. And you have been seeing in previous videos my background here sometimes. And so I'm going to talk about that when I do... Uh, my sewing studio part two where I talk about my long arm room. This is actually where the long arm. And I've got 99% of my Christmas fabrics already rewrapped on the bolts that I use and I just thought that I would share that process with you. I actually use the magazine boards. I actually purchased these from Amazon.com. When I first started purchasing these they were $10 for a package of 100 cards and I think it's gone up either a dollar or two since then so I am actually on my last packet I actually have wrapped about 1600 pieces of fabric overall in the past year so I've been just gradually doing a little segment here and a little segment there and part of that is that when I go and mess up one area or if I'm transferring from one spot to another spot I tend to create another mess while I'm trying to clean up one mess so now I'm on the Christmas fabrics because I got a new shelf for them because the shelf that I had wasn't big enough and that shelf has been in a garage for about three or four months now so I need to it's springtime we're doing a lot of spring cleaning so I'm trying to get things out of the garage that don't belong so I need to get my Christmas fabrics organized so magazine board it's just a thicker piece of cardstock and but it has enough body to hold the fabric without bending when it's wrapped but it's not so stiff that you can't fold bend it up a little bit if you need to so what I'm actually doing and I will show you my process here is I have already wrapped I'm actually going to have to lift up I have wrapped all of my light Christmas and winter prints all of my reds this stack here is my pink and purples more light prints back there and then these are prints that have black and they could be some colors as well but mostly a black background and then I have all of my green prints here and then in this box down there I have wrapped all of my blues and more tan winter Christmas prints and then I did find one piece that I can use for backing. And where I'm actually working now is that I have these greens here to still wrap to left. This is actually a fat quarter kit that I bought and then I purchased some yardage for background. And I put it on the shelf and never have used it. I want to make me a new Christmas quilt for my bed. So... I'm going to put that aside and then here are all kinds of panels that I'm not sure at this point if I want them or not so I've also been sorting fabrics I found some gold organza and I'm going to put it with my specialty fabrics then these are scraps that are less than a half yard so I'm only wrapping half yard or more and then these are my scraps that I'm actually keeping that I want these were fat quarters that I found inside of the yardage that I pulled out. And then these fabrics here, all of these things over here, I do not want anymore. So, and they're, they're mostly scrap. There might be a little bit of yardage on them, but for the most part, they're scrap. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. 
So I have my boards laid out here and then I'm also using some pins to secure them because I found when I move them and the stack falls then you're less likely to keep a neat working environment. So I go ahead and add the pin to them. I figure if the quilt shops can put pins in the fabrics that are on the shelf then I can do that as well. Especially considering now that I know I have my own little mini quilt shop here. And that's one of the reasons why as I've been wrapping fabric it has proven to me that I do not need to buy a thing. I just need to make do with what I have and only buy things that I absolutely need while I'm working on a particular project. So that's kind of my goal. Or if I'm making a specialty quilt for somebody, say that they like Mickey Mouse and I don't have that then I can go buy that type of fabric so I just wrapped one while I was talking so let me show you what I'm doing when I first started I was actually wrapping the card inside of the material when I first started wrapping these I would insert the card inside because I didn't want it to show and then I would wrap the entire thing but that's just a lot of work and to me it's okay if the card shows so i just actually put the card in a little ways and then i make sure i keep that first fold tight and then i pull back and then i just keep flipping and rolling and when i get to the end then i will go ahead and secure this with the pin now if it extends off a little bit here then i would fold under to get it so that it came back onto this back sort of kind of in the middle but this one's okay without being folded back so I just go ahead use one of my pins and secure the yardage so I don't have to worry about it unraveling so basically that is all that I'm doing I will talk about my actual fabric on my shelf when I do the studio part 2 video so I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.